isolation. You all must have seen the repeated designs on a floor, ceiling, wall, quilts, etc. Each design has a pattern made of different shapes. This process of covering any flat surface with a pattern of 2D shapes such that no part remains uncovered or overlaps is called tessellation or tiling. The tessellation can either be made with a single 2D shape or a combination of more than one 2D shapes. All the shapes are being arranged in a special manner to get the patterns. Look at these arrangements of tiles. Here, patterns have been created using straight or curved lines. All the corners of a pattern meet at a point called vertex. Did you know we follow certain rules to tessellate a surface? They are Rule 1 Tessellation must tile a surface without a gap or overlap. Rule 2 The tiles must be regular polygons and of the same size. Rule 3 Each vertex must look the same. Now, let us study different tessellations. Triangular tessellation Triangular tessellation is where triangles are arranged in a pattern. This quilt is a tessellation made of triangles. Square tessellation Square tessellation is where squares are arranged in a pattern. The squares meet edge to edge with no gaps and no overlapping areas. Look at this checkerboard. It is made up of squares. Here, each square meets another one at the vertex. Rectangular tessellation The pattern of bricks on a wall is a tessellation made of rectangles. 